Okay, listen up. It is one of the scariest crimes because, there, because there's almost no way to be prepared for it. Listen to this. A family out for a good time at a Long Island Dave & Buster's, right? When police say a man randomly stabbed their eight-year-old son five times. The boy's father and a witness helped the suspect until, helped held the suspect, I should say, until police arrived. Now the boy is recovering from a punctured lung, among other wounds. We're joined now by Pat Brown, a criminal profiler in Washington. Pat, this is really horrific, and I'm sure it, it makes every parent uh, stop in their tracks, especially. How common are these random attacks? Are they common? Well, luckily, Don, they're not very common. Usually in a public location where the guy's bound to get caught is not some place you're usually attacked because that's exactly what happened in this case. Usually they'll, well, they're, they're mass murderer types. We usually see that happening in the teens or midlife crisis when people think, ah, my life is going down the toilet. I'm a loser. I might as well take everybody out with me. And they attack the school that they go to or they attack the place of business. But you just go into... Uh, this particular place of, well, where the kids are having fun and stab somebody, uh, that's very unusual. So thank God we don't have to worry about it too often, but it's a horrific crime. Here's what I find interesting. I think you said that um, you can't predict them because the person obviously finds some sort of thrill uh, in stabbing someone and catching them off guard and just the really spectacle of it all. Is there anything you, is there anything you call it? I know there's like Munchausen by proxy and all of those things. Is there a name to describe this sort of behavior? Uh, not really, except for psychopathic. Obviously, this man did plan this because he said he wanted to go kill somebody in a note. So we know it's not purely a psychotic type of thing where he thought aliens were inside the child and he had to get rid of them. He actually wanted to kill someone. And he picked this little child because he thinks that's the meanest thing he can do to society. He hates society. And to, to attack a little child is going to really tick everybody off and really show everybody how much he despises them. So it's, it, you really can't tell. I mean, maybe people around him could see him what we call decompensating. In other words, his life is tanking. He was, uh, you know, he had a job that he was working in a movie theater. So he obviously, you know, it's nothing wrong working in a movie theater, but obviously not the highest paying job at 23. So maybe he was frustrated with life. Um, his, uh, who knows what his love life was doing. Yeah. He might have had some other psychological problems, but psychopathy is underlying this one. And he proved it by writing that note that says he wanted to do this and he planned to do it. So and really no precautions. You know what he was about. And no precautions anyone can take, not especially really, parents, can because it's so random. Pat Brown, thank you so much. We appreciate it.